So what is up, Yankees fans? Yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Yankees fans, the Yankees keep going back and forth with Alex Cobb. It was just reported by a source that the Yankees, again, are interested in Alex Cobb. Why? Because maybe his price has gone down. Why? Because maybe you can get him for a one-year deal. It makes sense getting a one-year deal with a contending team. So in my previous videos about Cobb, I said, hey, it's just going to come down to how Tanaka performs. If the Yankees see he's still giving up bombs, which he has, and I project he will continue to give up home runs, that the Yankees will go out and either trade or sign a pitcher via free agency. And you know what you're going to get with Alex Cobb. He's already AL East tested. Again, not to mention the fact that Chance Adams took the mound and got pulverized. Peter Samonetti of the Samonetti source has said this all along. He said that Chance Adams is not a starter. He's better fit for the bullpen, and he's overhyped. In my opinion, I think Chance Adams is legit, but I don't see him as a starting pitcher. So I, I'm thinking the Yankees are seeing this, seeing who they have to fall back upon. Let's say if an injury happens calling up maybe a Chance Adams, and Chance Adams not having that third pitch that makes him a legit starting pitcher. So the Yankees are thinking, which they should have done a long time ago, get that starting pitcher via trade or free agency to begin 2018. Don't wait for the trade deadline. How I see, I think the Yankees are being reminded about last season when Tanaka gave up all those home runs, and he gave them up early, taking the Yankees out of the game. And I think they're being reminded of that with Tanaka's outings in spring training. I'm not saying Tanaka's going to be absolutely garbage, but getting a player like Alex Cobb will give them that insurance that they need, just as they got Neil Walker and Drury. And speaking about Drury and or et cetera, Manny Machado fans, do I have some news for you? As you guys have known, I've been the number one voice out there pushing Manny Machado to the Yankees. And when I saw this jewelry trade go down, I said, I don't see it happening now. And here's the good news, folks. As of today, Manny Machado to the Yankees came out of life support and is back on the radars of many. NJ.com just put out this article saying how Aaron Judge campaigned for Manny Machado to sign with the Yankees. And in this article, it says, before the game, I asked him how his season was, how everything was going, Judge said. I asked him how he liked moving from third base to short. And then Judge dropped in this. I told him, you'll look pretty good in pinstripes too. Machado's reaction? He just kind of laughed it off, Judge said. He didn't really say much. Then it says, Machado, 25, grew up in South Florida loving the Yankees. And his favorite player was Alex Rodriguez. And people are asking me, hey, the Yankees... And Manny Machado don't match up because Manny Machado wants to play shortstop. But listen here, folks. If the Yankees offer him a deal, which I can see now the Yankees obtaining Manny Machado come trade deadline if Drury and Endahor don't live up to what people are projecting them to be. I can easily see that trade happening come trade deadline. If uh, Drury and Endahor have subpar years, if the Yankees see that power isn't coming from third base, you will see that trade go down. So the Yankees fans that are asking me, hey, Manny Machado can't be a Yankee now because he wants to play shortstop. Hey, if he wants to be a Yankee, he'll play third base. And I can't easily see Machado playing third base on the New York Yankees. I can't see Harper on the New York Yankees. The Yankees love Harper. But a lot of people across MLB just hate that guy's guts for some apparent reason. So I don't see him fitting in with the New York Yankees considering that Harper is kind of sensitive to media, so I don't see that happening. But I can't see Machado being the Yankee, and it might happen before 2019. Like I said, we all have to see how Drury does, just as, like I said, you had to see how Tanaka did, and now the Yankees are close or maybe interested yet again in Alex Cobb. So Yankees fans, keep calling in. The phone number is 646-849-0617. That's 646-849-0617. Peter Samonetti of the Samonetti Source can't make videos because he has the flu. He's been sick for close to or more than 
two weeks now, if people are wondering. So Yankees fans, like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Let's move on to your voice messages. Hello, uh, so this is me, and I would like to report some potential deadline trades. Uh, so a few guys I could see getting traded to the Yankees at the trade deadline are, uh, so we've heard, like, Chris Archer, even like Manny Machado. Uh, however, uh, some guys that I'd like to report on that we may have not heard as much uh, are as following. One guy that I think would fit the Yankees very well at the trade deadline is Cole Hamels. Cole Hamels. You've heard a little bit about Cole Hamels, but Cole Hamels is a lefty relief pitcher, only has one year left on his contract. And I think he would fit the Yankees very, very well. Uh, another guy is uh, uh, also on the Rangers that I could see getting added into the mix uh, is Alex Claudio, who currently projects to be the closer on the Rangers. He's a left-handed relief pitcher, and if both of those go back, we have the middle infield prospects to do it. He's a relief pitch prospects to do it. Both of those are quite large 